Uh, first of all, I am very happy to be here in, 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 in Switzerland, in your town, and I am happy uh, that I can share some of my experience, you know, what I was doing last First, like a player, and then after that, like a, like a coach. I will, would like to say something about myself. You know, I start uh, uh, playing basketball in uh, ex Yugoslavia, Bosnia, and I play for all the national teams. Start from cadet, junior, under 20, and national team. I play for the one uh, club. And I was happy because in that club, uh, Bosnia, Sarajevo, uh, the coach was Bogdan Tanjevic whom I will, you will uh, see after I work here also uh, in, the, in the Turkey. And uh, we was the first team, they start and I, uh, after that, uh, be, uh, uh, continued to be with, uh, together with them. And that, that was the first team in ex-Yugoslavia who, who become uh, champion, uh, Euroleague champion. It was before 40 years. After that, I came to Turkey and play there for five years, finish my basketball career, come back to ex-Yugoslavia, start to coach for three, four years, and then after that go to Turkey and like a coach and stay there for maybe 33 years. So everything what I'm going to explain here, you know, they does to me and I does to them, you know, to the players and to the federation and everything. I feel uh, on my body and uh, my skin, you know, so it's uh, uh, one good chance. I mean, for me, because like a player, I know how it should be. And then after that, like coach, I just uh, make, try to make that like a system. And, uh, and uh, you know, it's in the end, it's work. And uh, now Turkish basketball is one of the uh, maybe first five country uh, in the in the Europe and in the in the world. Uh, I had also very very good chance to make this program. You know, I, I'm traveling everywhere in the Europe and uh, try to explain to coaches. If you, okay, you can do this. You can get some idea and uh, and use some of these things. You know, but for me, one of the and for the everyone coach uh, who, who is doing this job is very important things that he has uh, support you know my support was the president of the turkish federation who was my coach uh, who was my uh, team uh, team uh, uh, we played together for four years like uh, players and he became uh, president of federation and i become uh, coach in federation and we was together for 25 years so he protect me every times and he believed me and uh, after 25 years it's uh, it we came to that position uh, i can give you some number that 2016 because 2016 i stopped to work anymore uh, in federation after 25 years uh, in the nike uh, nike uh, uh, scaling we was uh, turkey was uh, fourth in the in the world you know behind the united states canada and spain i think uh, also 2015 and 2016 uh, we was uh, we uh, compete in eight european championships and we uh, won seven medals so this is you know for uh, even uh, ex yugoslavia serbia Spain, they they didn't make such progress and su such kind of, of uh, result so uh, how how we start you know when i came to the turkey like a coach uh, the tour guide Demirel, he asked me you know we have to change something to bring to the uh, uh, turkish basketball some some new rules you know something because this what they are playing they was cheating with the with the years before and trying to make some result and we said okay I had a chance to play five years and to see what is the problem, you know, it was uh, my, my, my good luck. And after that, I said, first, what we have to change is selection, you know, selection. And after that, you know, I, it was my topic in the, in the FIBA, this uh, ACC uh, for, for 
maybe six, seven years. Selections in the basketball, I always try to explain it like this. You can be best coach in the world. You can know basketball maybe best, but if you make a wrong selection, if you choose wrong the player, as much as you work with them, you never can get the maximum. So first things what we try to do is the, is the selection, change the selection. And we put one goals like forcing the maximum. What does that mean, forcing the maximum? I said, we're going to choose the player who will go to NBA. Maybe we will not uh, be successful in the beginning. Maybe we will lose and we lose. If I tell you, when I collect first this 79 generation, we lose again Macedonia by 70 points. There was skinny guys, you know, long arms, long legs, not ready to play, and they came with four plays like this table, you know. They make a press, everything, they kill us. And everyone, all the media and everything, said, they, they, they said, what? What they are doing, you know, what, what kind of team is this, you know, what, what we are trying to explain. I said, okay, don't worry, give me one month, we are going to work and you will see. After one month, we play seven games with, with this team during the summer. And from minus 70, in the six and seven games, we beat them by 10 and by, by 15 points. So then they say that something positive, positive uh, happened. So, to choose this player, I said to the president, we have, we, we have to uh, 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 find some example how, with whom we have to complete. And because, once again, my luck, because I was from, from ex-Yugoslavia, and uh, you know that in that time, uh, this generation, and I, I bring to, to them and show, this is, uh, Yugoslav uh, generation uh, 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 68 and here you see how uh, the, uh, the names and how in this this is the cadet cadet generation how they are told this is example of the uh, the best one of the best in Europe in that time and I said to the, my president and the, to people who are working together with us we have to catch them how to catch them. So if they have the pivots to 10, we have to find pivots to 10. If they look at the names, Kukoc, Divac, pa uh, uh, Pavicevic, Raja, uh, Stefani, so many excellent players, so many, you know, and they have everything, you know. Guards, you want the point guard, two meters. So I said, okay, if you play one game, and give opponent chance to catch you on the weak side, what, what is weak on your, on your uh, team, then you cannot beat that uh, team. So the first idea is anthropometric size. So we, after this program, after this program, we sit once again and say, okay, this is good, what we can do better now. This is the uh, program produce this, what is the better? And then, uh, and what, what is also very important, what is the uh, uh, need for the senior national team? So you have to, when you produce this player, you have to put them in the national team so that you, they continue to, to become the, 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 the good players. Then after that, we start with the 87 generation. So 79, 87, eight years, they had a chance in the national team to prove something and they become like senior national team second in the in the in the uh, Europe losing final game in Istanbul against Serbia so we said okay we are there but we are not still champion we we have to do something else you know to to continue this and after eight years we start this 87 uh, project and once again a little bit higher a little bit this second pro, uh, program, more, uh, we concentrate more on the on the, uh, the motoric uh, or or the uh, speed, uh, athletic uh, uh, athleticism of the of this uh, player. 
and after uh, uh, once again four four years from this uh, generation, we we had uh, uh, four I think four four NBA NBA player. There was Semi Harden, uh, uh, Jen Kakyol, uh, Omer Ashik, and Ersan Ilyasova. These two, Omer Ashik and Ersan Ilyasova, they still are playing now in the in the in the N NBA. After that. You know, we continue like this with the, in this uh, program, I was the head coach and I was uh, leading the program in the same times, if you want to change something crucially in the, in the basketball, you have to, you have to also uh, have the people who will continue to work this program, what, what uh, you start. So I said to, to the president, okay, this is, one part, but th this is not this is not enough. We have to uh, prepare the coaches who will who will uh, continue who will work with us. Also, I uh, uh, during the, the 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 European Championships, we was uh, looking to the, the other federa uh, federation, Italy, France, what they are doing, how they are doing, and we saw that. Uh, let's say in Italy, every every ge uh, cadet generation, junior generation, uh, every uh, uh, generation has his own coach. So there is Antonio, one my good friend. You know, he's a coach for cadets, and he's working only with the with the cadet. And we said this is not good. Why is not good? Because every coach his has his own mentality, and l me like a cadet coach, I like maybe tall players or I am full court press coach or I am this and that. So he select one, one, one uh, generation, he work one year, one and a half years with, with uh, some uh, players and after that he give that uh, team to the junior national team coach. And junior national team coach is some different mentality, some different philosophy. So there they're, they are losing some very important player. We said, okay, first one coach has to start with the one generation from the cadets, junior, under 20, whole program of four years. And after that, we will see what he does. How many players go out of, the, uh, of this program. When I was choosing these uh, uh, coaches, I said, one more rules nobody can be a head coach of one generation if he don't pass the program of four years he has to be assistant coach coach he has to see four european championships he has to see how one player from one position come to the second position so he must know you know development of the of the player so First, I start with the four uh, assistant coach. After this 79 generation, we uh, give them, we finish that program, and then these four play, uh, coaches, they was ready to take his own team. Of course, I was there, you know, to help them, and they was working, continuing uh, with, the, with the project like, uh, like what I was, I was uh, doing. What is also very important, you know, especially the, with, the, with the coaches who are working with the young uh, selections, you know, there is, uh, especially when you are working on the, on the selection, there is, for me, uh, there is two ways of think, thinking about the basketball. One is producing, one is using. If you have the, the coach who wants to be a champion in the cadets, uh, he will choose the player to be champion. So he will choose the players who are now ready, who, who, who can dribble. I will uh, explain you my, my situation when, because I was working in the, in the federation and I was working also in the club. When I come to one club, you know, I said, okay, I'm head coach of the senior team and also I'm responsible for the, all the youngs. And all the coaches I collect, I said, okay, what is the working with the, with the youngs and youth program? 
producing the player. So you have to be ready to sacrifice yourself, not to be maybe champion you, but you have to produce such kind of player and give to somebody who will maybe be, uh, be a champion with, the, with this team. It's not easy, you know, you have to, you have to, and what is your uh, satisfaction is going to be? You can say, okay, I have this player for four years to come on, the, on, on that position. If you are, you are thinking the other way, you cannot work with, uh, with me, you cannot work in this club, you cannot work in this uh, federation. So I choose such kind of player who you know, who sacrifice themselves because I said forcing the maximum it means tall young players who are not ready put on the court and play them and maybe lose the game but you know one day this guy is gonna be great player it's not it's not so easy so when I was working in the in the Oya Kreno I, uh, I went to the cadets one game to see, you know, what, which kind of the players, and there is one guy, you know, usually I went to the warm-up, because if you want to see all the players go on the warm-ups, because when match games start, you know, four or five players sit, never play, because they are not ready, like the coach said, and I go to warm-up, and one guy, you know, he was going for the lap, he was 194, 95. He jumped like he's gonna make lap and make pirouette and dunk from like this. So I said, what is this? You know, and he was like, lap, lap, he's not full, full energy. He was just like that. This is natural uh, ability. I said, this is it. So I called the coach and this, in this team, there is four point guards like this table. You know, they are dribbling, they are, always the ball in their hand, they are passing, shooting, and these other tall guys, they are running, maybe one ball go to, to his hand. So I called the coach, I said, okay, listen, let's make agreement. I'm your boss, I give you job, I take your job. You had this team, you have this guy. This guy for us is very important guy because he can be NBA player. I'm now writing you, he can be an NBA player. So for me, you have to, for the club, because you pay the, uh, the club pay you, you have to produce this player, prepare him for the senior team. It's okay, it's okay. If you do that, lose every game, 50 points, I'm behind you, after season finish, 30%, I give you bonus of your monthly payment. It's okay, it's okay. One month, two months is finished and I am sneaking, coming to the gym, you know, hiding myself to see what they are doing. And plus, I said, to help this guy, you from these four uh, short guys, two of them you have to kick immediately, tomorrow. Kick them out, two has to stay. One, like a dog, to bite this Ersan. When he don't work, you put to play against him, to teach Ersan to how to play against one, and the other one you can use 20 minutes. And the, that talented player has to play 20 minutes, minimum. Is okay? Okay. Four short guys on the court. My Ersan is on the bench. They are leading 35 minutes, zero Ersan. I said, okay, what we make agreement? Come to my office. Once again, I am warning you, I'm gonna kick you. This is not what you want. You cannot work with us. He didn't change. Four players, everything, season finish. I call him, I said, what we make agreement? And tell me, tell me reason, you know, tell me reason, you know, why you are doing this, you know. I told you I'm gonna kick you and I'm telling you, you are not anymore coach in this team. And he said, okay, coach, but I have to be champion. I have to come one day on your place. I said, maybe, but not in my club. Not because we had the agreement. We, I told you which kind of job you are uh, doing. So, I mean, this is not possible and I kick him. What's happened? Neither he become good coach, 
neither did these four players do nothing, stop to play basketball. And what is worst for me, this Erza, Ersan, who could be NBA player, he didn't do nothing. He didn't, you know, become the player. He played some second division because everyone, you know, said, hey, he's not ready. When he's going to be ready? He, what, what is your job? You know, everyone from them uh, expecting to get the player, you know, and uh, this player immediately will come and score 30 points and then and, and do miracle things. It's not, it's not possible, you know. You have to invest, invest, invest in one player so that he give you, that he give you something back. This is the, the second things what, what we uh, change there in, in Turkey. And I cannot say 100%, but maybe 60% of the head we change. Still, 40% they continue uh, to work and to think and to uh, do job like, 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 uh, like they, the, they, they know. Third things, what is also uh, very important, what we does there and why we become such kind, uh, so successful, is the working method. You know how 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 they work, starting with the with the this uh, selection. You know, and before uh, Turkey. When they go to European Championships seven days, eight days before the competition, they make a camp. They do some some uh, works, and they go in the European Championships, of course. Slovi uh, uh, Spain, Russia, Lithuania, 20, 35, 40, go back to 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 Turkey. We said. It's not possible, you know, the, the, the different between when you have equal talent, different uh, in between good player and bad player is that good player work more than the bad player. So we have to work more. We have to uh, work during the during the whole year, not only seven days before uh, competition. This is not enough. Clubs don't work enough, federation don't work enough, so how you can expect to beat somebody who, who, is, who is working? So we make, we start with 79 generation. I was lucky because nobody know that players at that time, nobody used that players at that time. So when we collect these skinny guys, anyhow they didn't play in the clubs, so we said to the clubs, okay, and I said to the president, let's give them example how this skinny guy from this part to this part, how from zero become excellent player. Let them show, you know, let them give us all this kind of work so that they continue in the, in the clubs. So this 79 generation, I remember first year, we was eight months, eight months we was in the camp with this team. So I had the chance to start from zero, from left dribbling, right dribbling, passing, shooting, everything, you know, only fundament. Work, work, work. Preparation game, in the beginning, we had a problem because Turkey, it's like uh, maybe, I don't know, now Romania. Nobody wants to play with Romania. I call Spain, let's play a game. Who is Turkey? Uh, no, we, our uh, program is full and blah, blah, blah. So in the beginning, it was very, very uh, difficult to, to find the uh, find, uh, uh, games. We, we are working good, but without strong games to see, to show these players, hey, look, okay, we are working good, but look at, they, they are better than you. So we have to work a little bit more. In the beginning, that was, Preparation game, Macedonia, Romania, Bulgaria, and everything. And slowly, 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 first European Championships, we show that we are a good team. Second, everyone start now to, we beat one time uh, Spain, uh, we beat Yugoslavia, we beat some teams, and then we came in position that everyone 
wants to play with us. So it was easy, it was easy for, uh, for us uh, to play strong game because if you want to improve, you have to play with best. To beat the best, it means that you are together with them. This is what I said on the, on the, on the, on the beginning. Uh, we, we choose the Yugoslav national team. So when first time we beat Yugoslav national team, you know, we said, okay, we are now in the top level and we have to, we have to, stay, uh, we have to stay there. I have here, this is the uh, program of the, of the working every generation of the of the under 16 under it's similar you know it's similar because also if you like to want or if you like to build one system you have to uh, agree with the, all the coaches or with the, all the all the you know uh, national teams that everyone is going same way if you Building something, the under 16 go this way, under 18 go this way, or under 20 go this way, you, you will not uh, go nowhere. So this is program they are using now uh, uh, for two months preparation. Like, like uh, competition start uh, in August and we start uh, preparation 20 of uh, June. So it's, it looks like 45 days preparation without going home. They are, we are in the camp. We go to Istanbul, they go to home, change the only things. One day, come once again, camp, practice, game, practice, game, practice, game. 45 days competition, together with competition, two months. Summer, two months. So if you count, in the in the uh, Christmas days, tournament, uh, the, the the games, Spain, France, always they organize. We go, we spoke with the, with the president. We want to go as much as as is possible to play with the strong teams, uh, the, the games. After, you know, we second program, third program, and these these days, it's this this program is uh, working. So. Christmas Day and the winter uh, school uh, break, we organize in Turkey two or three very uh, quality uh, tournament with the best team in the in the Europe. So during the during the uh, uh, year, they have at least 20 preparation game during the year. And here in these two months before every European Championships, they had uh, uh, 10 to 12 preparation game and then they go to European Championships play six seven eight games so when you count it's uh, one year about 40 games for for these young players if you have the program for we start one year before always so five years 40 it's 200 games for one player and plus they are working in the club, they have national competition in Turkey, they are playing for the school, they have the competition for the school, plus we are giving them a national team program, all this game and everything, and when you see all this picture, then you know from maybe rating 40, 50, before 25 years, 50 in the Europe, like a basketball country, uh, Turkey, now we are maybe in first five. This uh, young selection, I told you, we, the, uh, in 2016, they, uh, we was fourth in the, in, the, in the world. For the coaches, now after we start from zero, and in the beginning, you know, three teams or four teams, maybe one medal. And second program, third program, when everyone accept uh, the program, when the players, all this game improve. And now, uh, I told you 2015 and 2016, this is 2016, my last, last year, from eighth 
European Championships, uh, we had se seven medals. So it's not uh, true that you know you cannot be a champion, but you have to find a good way, good way to work, you know, step by step to prepare that players to become uh, uh, good players, and then after that. You, you, you can uh, be a champion. If you start, okay, from the zero, I want to be a champion, you will not have the players and you will not be a champion. And here, even FIBA, look, I, I, today I was uh, uh, always remember that uh, it's a player's game. You know, the, 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 if you have good players, if you produce the players, good players, then you have to uh, be a champion and you, you can come to one point. So in this pro, uh, programs and everything, which kind of problem we, we had? And still we didn't do too much and every day is going to be worse and, and, and worse. What is that? Uh, it's probably you, you, I don't know here, but I know I was talking with the Lithuanian uh, Federation, Serbian, Spain. It's parents and uh, managers. You know, the, the parents, especially in the Turkey, in the beginning, not that much. You know, the, the, the father is coming to, to, to me and say, okay, coach. I give you my son, it's your, do whatever you want, I don't care, and you know, we work, no problem. But in that time in Turkey, there is not too much money. After they, we become second in the, in the Europe, second in the world, the money came to the, to the Turkey and enormous money for the, for the players. Now you, you have in Turkey players 2 million, 3 million, 4 million. They say 4 million dollar or euro for one player for one season. P uh, coaches, uh, do, uh, Obradovic, I think, I don't know how much he is. He just, uh, president signed a blank contract and say, okay, you write how much money you want and he write how much money he want. He don't need, but he write. That's, that's in that situation, the uh, parents now feel that, oh, there, there is money. I don't have to work my, my job. I have son, so son is going to learn that much money. I save my life. I don't have to work. He will give me that much money and I'm happy. All the family is happy. So they start to, you know, to come to the coaches and say, you know, uh, I will explain you to three to three my experience. You know, uh, I, I always when I com, co, uh, uh, collected the team, I worked for the next generation. I took I, I, I said an, uh, 87 uh, generation. I have two three players 90 generation who are most talented. I bring them before uh, before their generation to see. You know how is competition? What they have to. Uh, do and everything and there is one guy who was like that. This is present for me. He don't deserve now to be in that that team. This is present for me and father, you know, he like he understood that he is one of the best, you know, of, of, of that selection and one uh, especially on uh, one uh, game when we first time beat uh, uh, Yugoslavia he came to me after the game and he said, uh, hello coach, and we was every happy, I was happy, and he said, can I ask you something? I said, okay, you can ask me. He said, why my son didn't play? Is he sick? I said, no, that was such kind of game, you know, in history we didn't. But before on the tournament, I was giving like a present, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, you know, sometimes he good, sometimes he's bad, just to, you know, to improve a little bit. He was not important player for us. He, he can be out any moment. And he asked me why he didn't play. I said, like a joke, I said, you didn't give me money to pay, to, to play him. And he was looking like that, he said, Okay, coach, if, if, if you need, I give you money. <laughs> Immediately, you know, all my, all my happiness and everything. I said, are you crazy? 
Are you crazy? Don't you see that this your this is pre present for your son? You know. And immediately I said, never in my life one kilometer close to me you cannot come. If you can one kilometer to me, I'm gonna kill you then. This is first. Second, your t your players is out of the team. You take him and make you player. Let me see what gonna do. And then I, of course after that I said, what kid? He is not guilty and I uh, took him. So the, the, the parents become problem, you know. And what we said, okay, national team, all the parents, they, they fight on the, on the, on the, on the, like, uh, uh, on the tribune, you know. Or we play against uh, U uh, Yugoslavia and I always explaining, you know, for the basketball, you cannot be a good guy, I mean good guy, you have to be clever, you have to, you know, know to cheat, to kick, to, to, to you know, you have to be, you know, to have something from the street. And the Yugoslav players, are, they finish university on the university and they finish second university on the street. Because they fought, they, they, they you know, such kind of player. And uh, we play one, one game. Uh, against them and uh, one of the mothers, you know, I took a uh, Turkish guy on the bench and one of the mothers is it's summertime and in the June or July he, he shout from the from the tribune and I heard like son son take a, a warm-up you're gonna uh, get you you gonna get uh, sick and immediately once again I I said what what are you doing here let him, you know, let him, uh, he's 18, 20 years old, he's, you know, we play against these bandits, you know, they, 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 they are ready to do everything, you know, and your, your son is, you know, if he don't know that he has to take a warm-up, let him to, 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 to be uh, sick, you know, why, why you are, why are doing that? Also, explaining, well, then I collect them on the, every camp, or six months when I see that somebody get crazy and I collect them and explain them my situation because I have two sons and neither one is basketball player. I said, I'm coach, I play basketball, I'm coach, I'm in basketball for 40 years and do, do you think that I will not like that somebody of my uh, son play basketball? I like, but I, this is not enough that I like and they will be a basketball player. One time I said I was working in Oya Kreno in Bursa. My older son came to me and said, Father, I want to be a basketball player. He was junior age. I said, okay, no problem. I called the coach, junior coach. I said, take my son on the practice. He wants to be a basketball player. So I have office and one window who is looking to the, to the gym. And I'm looking two hour practice condition no ball no nothing sprint 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 they shout on them they they fell down once again shout 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 two hours finish the practice and i sit on my table like i don't know what's happening and he is coming knock on my door he said father i have to ask you something i said okay ask he's gonna be every day like this i said morning and evening he said I'm not crazy, you know, what is this, you know, two hour practice, he kill us, he shout on us, he said, this, this is the rules, he said, I'm gonna go to school, never, after that, never he go to the, to the court, he finished university, make master, and now he's businessman, so, I couldn't do nothing, believe me, you cannot do also nothing, you are making pressure to these guys and you are not helping them. You have your own life, he has to, his life. If you want to be a basketball player, okay, you have to support him. Okay, let's go guys. Or my, my uh, family never come to game, my game. Your job, we have our life, you have your life. This is best way. And still, 100% we make success, no. It's still, you know, we have to make uh, meetings with the family and everything is nothing too much change. Second things we, no, uh, uh, we didn't change is managers. 
I, I had in Tofash when I was working, uh, and I am explaining also on the clinics, uh, Kenan Spahi, he is playing now in Besiktas. He is from Kosovo. He came to Tofash when he was 11 years. And he came to the club by himself. Family is there, situation is uh, bad, economic there. And he came to the club, he said, I want to be a basketball player to the club. And they took him and I uh, find him there when he was 14 years. I came to the club, worked for five years. With 16 years, he started to play first division. He was such kind of head, like Dražen Petrović. I don't know how much probably you know Dražen Petrović. When situation is more close or last 20 seconds we are minus one or you know, the, where, where, where head has to be calm, he was the best. 16 years players and I have one American player who was a little bit injured and who he, I see on last games, he is escaping, he don't want to shoot last game, he's scared. And I take him out and put this guy inside to finish the game. All the president, managers and everything, you know, like, oh, you're crazy. Boy, 16 years, guys, you know, put American players. I said, I believe to this guy and he never make a mistake. So 16 years, he showed himself. He was going to be one of the best he is about two, two meters, point guard. Bring the ball, shoot and everything, with 16. 17, he played the 16 years, five, 10 minutes. 17 years, 15, some games, 20 minutes. And manager is coming to me, give him, Fenerbahce want him. I said, look, Fenerbahce will take him, put on the bench, and he will be never what he can to be. He offered me money, I give you 100,000 euro, let him. I said, no, I don't want money, I don't work this job for the money. I let me please one more year, 18, but after that I couldn't stop him. Fenerbahce came, one million dollars to the player. Three years guarantee, uh, guarantee contract, one million, one million two hundred, one million five hundred. 18 years old players who has to work every day, two hours morning and two hours evening. Jen Kakul, F.S. Pilsen, 18 years. He was in the first five in Spain uh, with Sergio Rodriguez. Where is Sergio Rodriguez now? Where is Jen Kakul? Second division, somewhere else. Once again, first contract, one million F.S., second, third. Buy the car, buy the father car, buy apartment, everything. When you give such young players that much money, you know, it's finished. Neither one of them came to the, you know, level they, they, they should with the talent, with, the, uh, with everything. And still, you cannot explain to these managers because they say, okay, today, I need money today. Tomorrow, I don't care. One can he go, other one, for me, money is much more important. So all these things about basketball, it's now in one system is going on, but these two things, we, we didn't make too, too big progress. This is uh, shortly, you know, shortly, because, you know, uh, 25 years of working, memory and everything to put in one hour, you know, it's, it's not uh, so, so easy, but uh, the, 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 my aim is uh, to give you one idea, to share something, you know, uh, with you and if you can use anything of this, you know, uh, I will be very, very, very happy that, you know, because I came to this age that I don't want to, to, to nothing stay in me, you know, I'm a little bit old, so I want to give to the, to the, to the, the other coaches, to the, you know, because I, I'm uh, thankful for the basketball, because it's helped me to become good, good man, it's helped me uh, with my character, you know, that I am a fighter, I don't give up, never in the life, there is no any problem I think I cannot solve, Plus, financial, 
I, I'm now in a situation that I don't, I don't need to work, you know. And I said to myself, okay, but how I can help to the people, you know, giving something, sharing with, the, uh, with uh, some experience, you know, helping the people to find the uh, uh, right way to, 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 to be success. This is first part of, 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 of this. Uh, of these uh, uh, topics and if you have any questions you know I, I will be happy to, to answer. I have a, a question. Sorry. Thank you. Uh, it's not really a question but it's just a commentary about what you said. Uh, first of all I think uh, what we share with the uh, Turkish system that is completely different than the one we have here about uh, money about uh, uh, the, the meaning of being a basketball player etc is uh, the parents we share the parents so uh, we also have uh, some parents who uh, their son is a, is a champion and so we have to manage it and this is uh, also a problem for us because probably the level of the players we have is lower so uh, it's something we have to face every day um, the second point uh, that is, is very important to me that you said uh, you show us how many working days you had uh, uh, with the national team during a year and uh, this uh, uh, makes us understand that uh, working is very very important even if you have a, a manager even if you will be maybe an NBA player but this is uh, very important to me and uh, it's uh, uh, very important that you coming and say us this because makes us think how much is important to the everyday work in the in the in the court and um, uh, and also uh, you said that you were uh, forced or it was your choice also to to put a very young player in the court when he was 16 uh, sometimes, and I'm thinking, I'm uh, thinking about ourselves. We say that, for example, a 22 or 23 years old player is a young player. Uh, I think we have to change a bit, a bit the point of view. And 22 or 21 years old is a player; is not young anymore. Uh, but I, I, I come to the question uh, that we also discussed yesterday. Uh, you said uh, you gave us the example about the four small players and then uh, future uh, player. Uh, how we can manage? Because sometimes in the club, the coaches want to win, so that the shortest way, the shortcut, is to put the players ready to play now. And how we can manage also, for example, with national team, this fact that people play, for example, in two different positions. I mean, uh, I will start from this last, you know. This is the economic th things, you know. You have the club and you have the clever president who know to work with the money. So, let's say Ferrebace or uh, Barcelona or Real, they are all investing, collecting young players, you know, put in the one program because for me, one president, if I have to pay for one foreign player one million dollar and I have uh, the youth program and coaches and somebody who is responsible for this, if I am the president of that club, I will call that guy and say, okay, look, basketball, everything, I'm looking now economic things, money. So you produce me two players from my factory let's say factory, that I pay him some normal money, like stipendia, like something monthly payment. Save me this one million dollar I have to pay for the for foreign player. So I had the one idea when I was working in Tofaj for five years. I said, we have to produce in that time, uh, there, there is uh, three play, uh, foreign players. So we will produce from our, uh, the young youth program nine players turkish player who will be in the level of the of the foreign players 
all the working, all the philosophy, philosophy is going to be like that. Produce the one generation, you have one, two players, concentrate on, on them. I know that Shibenka, the Dražen Petrović was playing in junior team, I know that at oh, that time. They kill 11 players to make Dražen Petrović star. So, of course, they, they, I said kill, you know, and they give him chance, work, everything, because they see if Dražen become, come to their, uh, his maximum, they are going to learn the money. First, club can sell him, like we. We, I uh, uh, earned money for the club selling the Canon Spy because they pay us money, you know, 500, 600, 700,000 dollars, you know, for Canon. They pay to Canon everything because they have money there. So the, the idea is, you said, not to be champion. The idea is for the president. Idea in the beginning, what I said, Turgay Demirel that he didn't believe, that he didn't want to change. It's very, very difficult that we do all this job. Plus, you, you said uh, from the beginning, we, we are talking for, for two days. Believe me that in Turkey, when I start, there was money. I was working, I, I don't know now in the dollar, but maybe for $1,000, $2,000, for maybe five, six years. But that wasn't important for me because, you know, that was idea, that was something what I was dreaming, that I, I like to, to make. Our players, we was, uh, uh, there is no hotel, there is no, there, 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 yeah, yeah, we was talking now, excellent gym, the place we are staying, he, uh, uh, Gianluca is explaining, there is one gym here, one gym here, one gym here, I said, Gianluca, you have everything, you know, we didn't have that. We was in the factory, uh, the, the rooms of the, of the workers, you know, staying 25 people with this, you know, for the food and everything. But this wasn't important. Give us gym, give us somewhere to, to sleep and work. We will after that, you know, when we start to make some result, then when somebody, uh, all the sponsor and people recognize what we are doing, they want to be part of that. And now, you know, from, from basketball and the result from 100, Turkey is now also with the money, one of the most expensive league. So, you know, you have to start, you have good uh, position to start now with one program. But as I say, must be on the top the people who, who, who is in the, the president and committee and everything, they have to decide, like Turgay decide, hey, let's change something. I, I don't want to, you know, that Serbia beat me every time. I, uh, to be shamed, to beat me 40 points. I want to beat them. What we can to do? Okay, we're going to do this. So we start slowly, slowly, slowly and came on this position. So, I mean, I understand you very well. And, you know, the, the, this is not only uh, this uh, uh, coaching and uh, there is also, also marketing, uh, organization, money, a lot of things has to come one to the close to the other and then after that uh, you, be, you came to this position. Do you uh, have some problems you want to share with us? Maybe together we, we talk about, about some problems you, you have or... Also, also, we spoke with Gianluca, he said there is no too much interesting about the coaching, you know. There is no too many people uh, who wants to be coach. I said, how much you pay the coaches here in, 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 in this? He said, like one secretary is taking maybe more money than, than, than the coaches. I said, then this is normal, you know, why? Because, you know, every way, uh, this was, I had also one very, uh, I was lucky because my coach was Bogdan Tanjevic and all this, what I'm doing, he was doing that in Bosnia with us, you know, starting from second division and he become a European champion without foreigner working for five years, six years and he, he was on the, on the, on the top. So he, like a disease, you know, he, he give me that, 
I make that in Turkey and I, w I would like to give somebody of you here that disease you know that you make in Switzerland because this is really nice country and uh, I mean there is no reason to, to not to become like 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 a, a Tur uh, Turkey about the coaches I want to tell you uh, one joke you know when this Tanevich and all the coaches uh, come to some clinics and we uh, see 200 uh, coaches and they always said what are you doing here he said we want to be coach he, they said you couldn't find a better job than this you know because really to be coach it's it's uh, it's not easy it's like uh, they say there in, in ex Yugoslavia you know you put two finger in the electric this for for you know during the game one hour one hour one and a half hour and like you know like this and then game is finished you take and then after that two three days you know if you lose the game i tell you the the, the story about uh, also family the one who uh, uh, i start thanks to him you know he has he, his wife explaining us this story she said Okay, he is going to, to the game. He now two children and me said we are in wait, waiting that he come after the game. He ring the bell. I open the door, see the face like this. What's happened? We lose the game. And seven days they say nobody in the in the house. You know, everyone is walking like father lose the game. And next Saturday once again game. We are all in, in the home waiting. What's going to happen? Once again, he ring the ball open, once again face like this. What's happened? <laughs> he said, I, did you lose the game? He said, no, we win the game. And what is this face? He said, we play, we play bad. <laughs> so, I mean, the, the family also pay the price of, of your job. I mean, it's not so easy, so I understand. And if you are not paid well, you know, so Okay. Hello. Uh, I'm, I'm uh, from Slovak Federation. I have uh, one question. Uh, do you have some idea, because we have a problem, that the clubs uh, don't give the opportunity to the Slovak players to play in the National League? They have the pyramids, they try to produce the guys, but at the end, when they came to the Extra League, they hired the guys from uh, Croatia or Serbia because they are cheaper probably for, uh, so uh, if you have some idea how to how to stimulate the uh, the initiative or something uh, to produce the guys because it's, it's the problem of the system they have the pyramids but they, they didn't produce the guy for the extra league or something as I understood uh, stood, uh, you find the guy make uh, him uh, to one point and somebody come and take him and bring him away that the problem is that uh, I am the club I have the pyramids all the the guys are playing the basketball but for the extra league I hired the guys from foreign so I don't produce the quality quality uh, players for for the how many foreign. how many uh, foreign players uh, uh, we, play we, here. we decided four years ago, uh, we had a problem that there were no rule for the domestic players. Now we have the rule that one player must be on the, on the, on the play round and uh, six must be on the, on the list. So, so I'm, lo I'm uh, looking for the, for the way how to, how to stimulate the production of the players. So, I mean, the, the, in Turkey, in the beginning, they tried with this some rules, you know, the federation like uh, two players on that age has to play, blah, blah, blah. But for me, it's mentality that everyone, you know, mentality. I explaining that, uh, there in, in Turkey, like uh, I was in one game in Croatia. There was playing young, uh, some second division league. And that second division league they are using to put the young players to play, you know. Then you see 14, 15, 16, 17 years players tall, they are playing. And one, you know, 32 years. I saw, he's a good player, 32, and he wants to show himself, you know. And the spectators, they are shouting, 
hey, you old guy, what you are doing here with these young guys? Go home, you know. This is mentality, you know, which, how far they, they go. Spectator, they uh, understood that this young guy has to, to, to play. It's not so easy. You know, you have to start, you, you must have one example, what I said in the Federation. We have to give them example, one Hidai Turkolu, when he go to NBA and everything, how is nice what we all together uh, make. So here, if you make such kind, you know, produce one uh, example, like a club, like a federation, like a role model, yeah, you know, the, in Germany, Dirk Nowitzki, the, you know, 50% of the German basketball high up because of Dirk, Dirk Nowitzki, you know, he was NBA player, star, everything, he's helping the young guys, everyone wants to be Dirk Nowitzki, so, you know, you have to pro produce some role model in the player, in the club or in the federation that all other will see, you know, how it's going so that they follow. It, uh, that, that, that's for me an uh, idea. Um, I, I think uh, one of the biggest problems that uh, that most coaches have here in Switzerland to produce the top talent is the mentality of the players, you know. So how would you um, kind of change that uh, from the player side, you know, because a lot of players have a lot of different uh, commitments, like with school, with uh, the army and, and, su and such. And... Um, uh, say you, you, you probably you've probably seen a lot of different players who 100 percent commit only to basketball and was in the gym every day to practice and to you know you, you know the difference between a player who's just there to be there and the ones who really really want to uh get better right yeah i understood uh, what, what you are trying yeah i i'm on the the other side the 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 from the country who are not so rich and uh, I explain always, you know, that this guy from Serbia, I said he finished the university on the, on, the, on the street. So the family there, they put the kids outside and they say, okay, I give you love, you go to school, that's all. If you like to get something more, you have to do by yourself, you know, you have to, and they who choose the basketball to, 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 to uh, play basketball, he know, I know. I was born in Bosnia, I play in Bosnia with the team, I become uh, uh, Europe champion and after that I, I play for no money. I mean, no money, very, very small, Finnish university and then I, I said, okay, I go to Turkey to earn the money. This is story about these uh, players who don't have economic, good economic situation. To find solution for this, for the Switzerland, Germany and everything, I am not best, you know, for, for me it's also uh, very difficult, you know, you uh, maybe, maybe uh, it's this some kind of role model because the kids here, they have good life, they go good, good school, they have all kind of uh, laptop, uh, the, the telephones and all kind and it's very difficult, you know, to, to concentrate them or to bring them to be to the basketball because basketball is hard work basketball is you know you have to feel the pain and then after that you will get everything you know the all the kids from this uh, i said uh, rich country it's a little bit in minus position you know and maybe maybe because i spoke in germany novitski you know role model Somebody from Switzerland will be all-star player or he will be in, in, in a, okay, you want to go there or you want to be like him, then you have to come and play, uh, uh, to work uh, like this, to, to, to feel the pain and then after that, you, you hear, if you are happy with this life, this is it. But you want to more, I mean, to talk with them, to explain them, to you know, to give them, you know, they, because basketball is disease, you know, you have, he has to be, it's not easy to come, I, I, we are talking now, the game is nine o'clock, 
So you have to wake up, you have the breakfast and everything, come 9 o'clock and, and the play, play the game. Sometimes you have practice in 9 o'clock in the evening, you know, you're all your friends, they go drink coffee and everything with the girls and everything, and you are in gym in the practicing. So after and the one player become famous and big, then he gets more than others. He is famous, he has good life, he's, I mean, difficult, <laughs> difficult. Any other question? Question? Okay, we do 10 minutes break and we start again.